peace, peace, peace. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know, it's your boy Vic Slain Hope, and I got another video for y'all. In this video, I'm going to be clearing up some misconceptions about women having a lot of options, right? Because women don't really have a lot of options. What they have is they have a larger pool to pick from. Understand this. Because when it comes to seeking out a partner, it's about quality, not quantity, right? So women have a bigger pool to try to pick this quality mate from. But the problem is this. Most of these guys are thirsty for sex, right? Most of these guys just want to bed you. They just want to sleep with you. They just, and they're willing to do whatever it takes, whether they got to buy you a bag. You hear the rappers talk about it all the time. Like, if Lil Baby said this, right? He said, if I really want you, I'll pay for it, <laughs> right? So, this is what you have. You have people who might have a fantasy. You have men who might have a fantasy of sleeping with you. Um, they have a fantasy of, of what you might, you know, what, what, what that thing might be like. You know, they, they, they like how you look. They like, you know, what, what, what you got going on for yourself. So, a lot of these men... You know, they, they be tricks or they be, you know, they they do whatever it is that it takes to get to the box, right? The the, the prize is the box, not you, right? Um, so this is what a lot of women confuse. They confuse um, the fact that a lot of men are just trying to sleep with them over a man that is that wants them and is trying to pour into them. Um, and on the other hand, right, men, men have a bigger pool of quality women right because there's more good women than men out there that's just the, i mean it's, she is a little different now because you know what I'm saying? These, these new girls as you know what I'm saying but on the average there's more good women than men out there right and again the brothers that don't see them don't know where these women are at you got to put yourself in different um in different places right you gotta i'm telling you i literally went out yesterday and i was out for 12 hours and i went from from a place that I could potentially find a wholesome woman, right? And a suitable um, spouse and, and somebody that I could build with, right? I went from one from that area and that place, not area, but place, right? I went from one place to another place where it was a whole bunch of women who are not suitable spouses, who are these modern day, you know, F I, whatever that song is, fuck, nigga, freak, you know what I'm saying? Like, or the Megs and the, you know, y'all get what I'm trying to say. So it's about where you place yourself. The ratchet girls go to ratchet places, and the wholesome girls go to wholesome places. Sometimes some wholesome girls, you, you, you might find a diamond in the dirt, you know what I'm saying? And you might find a wholesome girl in one of them ratchet spots. I've definitely seen, i definitely bumped into, from time to time, wholesome women in ratchet spots. Just like I have. But it's rare for me to bump into, sometimes you might bump into ratchets in wholesome places, but it's very rare. They get bored. They don't really like that environment, right? Ratchet girls do not like wholesome environments. They, they hate it. Um, but you know, sometimes the wholesome women, you know, they might come to a ratchet spot and they might, you know, they might be feeling a little ratchet. But anyway, the point I'm trying to say is this, when it comes to the pool of dating, um, women have, is, is a bigger pool, but it's not the person that they are looking for. It's not the person that they really want. And this is why they're not in these relationships, right? It, it's, it's clear. Um, it, it's either because they have these high expectations, right? Um, um, unrealistic standards. That could be one of the reasons. Or they're just getting bamboozled by these guys that are, are lying to them and deceiving them, acting like they want them because they're buying them things. And, and some women, you know, depending if, if your love language is to receive gifts, if your love language is, you know, acts of service, some women might look at this like he really likes me. He really is into me. He really is feeling me. When in all reality is, all he's trying to do is get to the coochie, right? So, with that being said, is this, yes, they, they have a bigger pool, but it's, the quality in that pool is, is really no quality. It's, it's a bunch of men, and sometimes they can't even decipher that, right? Um, And it goes to their head, because a lot of times they feel like, oh yeah, I got mad dudes in my inbox. I got mad dudes in my DM. I got mad dudes that is trying to like do this or like do that. And it's like, we, we see how those things end. Um, So I oftentimes tell the sisters, and I tell the brothers too, right? And like, like me, when, when, when you know, not me, not me, right? When you know you are, like as a man, you should have standards too. And when you know you are a certain type of man, like I know what's out there, bro. I got friends. I got homeboys that talk crazy, right? That say what they want and this is all they want. This is all they trying to do. I know what's out there. I know what type of men exist out there. 
right? I talk to a lot of women that are my friends, that we cool. So I know what type of men ex exist out there. So when, when you know as a man that you are not like the man that exists out there, it's very important that you carry yourself a certain way. It's very important that you have standards, bro. Because you know what happens? These women, they start to realize that you the prize. And that's really, that's really how it really is, right? The man is the prize. The man is the one that I got to take care of you. I got to provide for you. I got to, you're, you're almost like my baby, right? Like my baby, right? Like, you know, we got to take care of a baby, right? We got to feed the baby. We got to clothe the baby. We got to take care of the baby. We got to provide for the baby. Women are the same way, right? That's, at least that's how it's supposed to be, right? That's why they always say women and children, right? Um, they always put them together. And it's like because we have a responsibility, right? Um, so the thing is that when you realize that, when you realize that you are different than those men out there, those women are going to recognize that. They're going to recognize that, yo, you the prize. Because, and, and, and unfortunately, a lot of times it's after they've already been ran through. It's after they've already been, you know, they, they probably got a few kids now. They probably don't hit the dirt. And they probably don't realize, like, you know what I'm saying, a lot of these dudes ain't shit, right? And then they start looking at you, right? Then they want to come to you with the baggage, right? With the trauma, with the with the kids, with whatever else that they're coming with. And then now they want to they wanna get you. They think they stand a chance with you. And that's why I tell the brothers, man, like, I told a woman this one time. <laughs> you know, kind of like what Kanye said. He said, it's a thousand yous, it's only one of me. <laughs> but... That's not the point I'm trying to make. The point I was trying to make, I told this woman one time, I said this. I said this to her. I said, you know what? I said, there's way more women, it's, it's way more better women out there than there is better men. So I can't, I can't, I can never lose. You know, I can never lose. Like, if you leave, if you walk out, like, thinking you're going to find better, thinking you're going to do better, and you could possibly do. You might do, you might find better in different areas. But like I always tell people, you can't buy character. Money can't buy character. You might find a guy. You might find a guy with with better with more money. You might find a guy with maybe better sex game. You might find a guy with whatever you're looking for, right? Six feet five, you know, whatever you're looking for, right? You might find that. But character, people with good character, people with good morals, um, principles. That's you're not just gonna find that, right? So it's very important to get your needs and your wants. And in, in accordance, right? Um, what do you really need for yourself, right? And what do you really want? And then you got to realize, is it worth it? Is what I want worth the the hustle, the hassle, and all of those things? Um, because a lot of times it's not worth it, man. A lot of times we want who is not good for us. And a lot of times we, 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 we like somebody that's not that's not good for us, right? We, 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 we would want them to change. We would want them to be better. We would want them to be a different person. So I just think we got to be mindful of that. Even when we have a type, we need to be mindful. Some people out here, they like, I want somebody. Like dudes, I hear dudes all the time. They, they say, I want somebody with a fat ass. Or I want somebody with, with like this. Like they talk about the body. They talk about the looks. Because a lot of guys, it's based on looks, right? Um, so a lot of times, it's like they want this, they want that, right? And then they skip a whole bunch of shit, right? Or they skip the most important ingredients um, to the concoction, right? to the relationship, right? Women do the same thing, right? They talk about money, they talk about penis size, they talk about, you know, assets. They talk about a whole bunch of financial things, right? And I get it. Part of it is, you know, thinking about your survival, right, and your offsprings. But a lot of women are not thinking about it like that. They're thinking about a lifestyle. They want a specific lifestyle that comes with it. That's it. It's not really about the man. It's about the lifestyle that they want. Um, if, if, if they if they into the designer, if they into the different wigs, if they into the lashes, if they into the nails, all of that stuff costs money, right? By the way, all of that stuff is, is does not mean that's 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 not what makes you a provider, right? Providers just food, clothing, and shelter. That shit don't got nothing to do with, with weave. It don't got nothing to do with nails. It don't got nothing to do with lashes, all the accessories, the, the, the clown costumes. It don't got nothing, makeup. It don't got nothing to do with none of that shit, right? I, I keep trying to tell the brothers, don't fall into that trap. Provider is about food, clothing, and shelter. That's it. Um, don't, 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 you shouldn't have to do no unnecessary spending. Right, just to have some, you know. Anyway, a wholesome woman gonna get that. She 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 understands that, right? So the point is, yeah, I'm just trying to say that like a lot of women they want a certain lifestyle. It's not the specific man. So with that being said, 
yeah, man, they know that their their pool is trash. <laughs> um, and a lot of those women that don't know, they will know. Um, and then they will start realizing. Usually, you know, after they hit the wall, they start realizing that, you know, it was their choice of men. Some never get it, right? But it was their choice of men. And so at, at some point, they, they, they realize that, like, men are the prize, right? Um, especially when you find a man that has sexual discipline, right? When you are a man who has sexual discipline, women can't touch you. They can't touch you. Why? Because how they get to you is through sex. That's how they get to you. They get to you through sex. That's the way their power lies. So when a woman can't sway you with her box, she doesn't like that. But she likes that. She, it's, it's tricky. Man. I told you, they, 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 they sway, man. Like they, they want that balance. They want that confusion. So they like the fact that you're not that you're sexual, sexually disciplined. But at the same time, they don't like it because they can't control you. They can't overpower you. They can't use that against you. They don't like it. So they like it, but they hate it. It's weird shit, man. So that's why I tell the brothers, if when, once you get control of, of your sexual libido, right? Once you get into con in control of your sexual desires and you master them, you're going to be a hell of a player, man. Because you, you're not going to be able to be played by these chicks. You're not going to be able to be manipulated with the box. You're not gonna be. You're not gonna be one of them dudes that you feel like you gotta pay for this, or you gotta do this, or you're paying for attention, or you're paying like for the box. Like you, I, I guarantee you, if you master your sexual um, energy and, and you master your sexual um, urges, I'm telling you, man, you're gonna be yo. You're gonna be a very, very powerful individual. Um, and if you didn't get nothing out of this video, hopefully you got that. If you're a man watching this video. Get in control of your sexual desires, man. I'm telling you, the whole game going to change for you. Let me know what your thoughts are, though. If you like the video, like. Don't forget to like. It's free. Um, share it if you think it's beneficial. And, you know, let me know in the comment section what y'all think. Peace. Stay safe.